How's it going? Day 10 of framing. I got the bedroom roof kind of going. I just started putting all little rafters in. So this is the bedroom, master bedroom. We got that, all the joists, hangers all in on that. Got their venting holes in. So this is the master bedroom side. So they, they were able to get both. They didn't finish the that that side wall yet. That's the last wall they need to build, but they'll probably do that tomorrow. And then start sheeting the top. This is still the same. And they're actually gonna work on the, the roof of this one tomorrow as well. Put some shear right here. And then they also did the entryway as well. Kind of see that going on. So that's pretty much ready to go for sheeting as well. They got the strong ties in, strong wall. And I'll go inside there so y'all can see it a little better. But a lot more progress now. Like I said before, if they had a full, full crew, I'm assuming it would be a lot quicker, but these, these little custom things, they kind of take a little more time on it just to make sure everything's right. You can kind of see there. They got all their joist hangers in. Attachment points in. See how they framed it like that, where a lot of the, the weight is going to be imposed on the vertical points. And I'll go up onto the loft area so you can see it as well. But yeah, this one's going to be a higher, higher vaulted ceiling. This is basically our main living area that we're going to be hanging out a lot in. So, Wanted to have that going. They also did this right here. It's hard to see, but uh, originally they had the wall coming out. Probably right about there. You can kind of see the shadow. They had it right there, and we figured it was no point in having that wall extend so much. And then we have now we have the window, light from the window to help gain some more natural light into this space. We have a big window there where our sink location is, but it just gives more natural light in here. We got natural light here, got natural light coming from there and natural light coming from here, but it it does make the space feel a lot, a lot better. So moving into, there's a lot more floor space. So the flow is a lot better. So moving into the entryway here, what, we're invited with this big open ceiling concept that gives us a lot more breathing room as we come. We don't feel as claustrophobic because this is a small home. And then we have a lowered ceiling here, obviously to, to be the floor of our loft. So these are our floor joists and then also ceiling of our kitchen. They're gonna shear this whole side tomorrow and then we're gonna build a soffit here so we can run. This is where our oven and our cooktop's gonna be. So our, our hood exhaust is gonna come through a soffit here and terminate out that way. We gotta make sure we verify with, with the codes on how close to the window we can be or cannot be. So we might have to figure out where, where to route that, but we're gonna ride the soffit for that. 
So now we got this extra space. Now I can flow right over to the hallway. Even though this load of plywood's in the way, it's actually not too bad. I got about three feet right here now. So a lot, a lot more better flow than it was before. So they were able to move that. They finished this little location right here. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry, it's getting dark. Um, but they were able to finish this wall up. So now I can finish the kitchen stuff. Uh, walking over here, we're gonna go up into the loft space, if possible. But actually, there's no point in going up there. You kind of see this is the ceiling of the bedroom. It's not as high as the the main living area, but it's, it's still a good, decent feel. So as we come into this space, such a, such a small room. Uh, we kind of custom built this to where now we've got this high vaulted ceiling that's going to give us a more open feel not so constricted with a low eight foot seven six type finished ceiling so now it feels a lot more open they got uh, got this all tied in like that so let's get in there they got they got all that attached ready to go and they can finish this wall up so yeah that's, that's kind of where we're at right now with uh, the progress so you can see everything's looking pretty square pretty straight they ran string lines along the edges prior you can see they took it off already but nice little wrap the fence at the end give it a more custom look you see the existing structure and just a standard two by six you know coming through that's just standard and then with the fascia screwed to the front with this uh, we're not gonna go with the fascia on this one it's more of a aesthetic aesthetically pleasing look you get it all painted and everything like that but they also were able to frame in this window because they had missed this uh, on the first pass or we didn't have a window now we got one for this little powder room so I'll go down there so you can kind of see that but we're looking good on our framing though ultimately so a lot more progress they got this wall built for the powder room so you can kind of get the feel now so as we come down the stairs here we'll come down the stairs boom walk down through here Got a nice wide space leading to our laundry location where we'll have our dryer and our washer over here. So a dryer, washer, I'm gonna run my dryer vent out this way. Actually, I'm gonna have to put the dryer on this side and exhaust out that way because I don't wanna be too close to that window. But I'll have to kind of check the, check the codes on that. Uh, but ultimately you don't want to exhaust in a in an area where there's a window where you want natural air to come through and you don't want to breathe in that lint and stuff like that so we might end up exhausting this way so this was a, an old water heater closet but we had since then moved the water heater so now it'll become a uh, storage for for our space and uh, this is our access and yeah, I'll probably end up exhausting out right here. But I mean, I am gonna kind of lose this dead space. So if anything, I could turn 90 down, run along underneath this access point and terminate down here on the bottom end. Can't see it, but there's actually a gap right there. I could terminate out here and dump out there. So that would be actually uh, the best way to go. Or if, you know, the other way would be to 90 down here and do it the same way down here because I think the clearance is going to be fine because we're dumping down low. But that's pretty much it for what we got going on. Um, once again, this is our powder room. So you can see the ceiling of this space is pretty high as well, which helps us out. Wanted to utilize as much of the airspace that we can get 
um, at if I need to build some shelving and stuff like that to, to kind of put some storage together. That'd be pretty cool. Now in this scenario here, I got, got my door coming in here. It's, my, it's gonna be my my sink right here, and then toilet. Then we got the window here to bring in some natural light. Uh, this is a pretty high ceiling. Um, kind of anticipating if I should keep the high ceiling or not, or lower, drop the ceiling down because it, it might it might be behoove me to to have some some more storage space up there. We'll have to kind of visit this later on with the architect but yeah, that's where we're at now so stay tuned for the rest of it <laughs>